good morning and welcome back to another vlog so um i've just been to a two hour lecture that's why i look like a state because it was 9 till 11 and we're just in iceland getting the last component to our roast oh you've got hash browns i've just got some more fruits because i've been obsessed with them at the minute um yeah we're just looking around for some yorkshire puddings because i can't believe we forgot them are they here I might get some crumpets actually, or, ba or bagels. Look at how cute all this like little B section in M&S is. So cute. Oh, look at this. Right, so we've just booked our tattoo for Friday. Um, literally, we just went into this shop that's on the high street and they were literally so chill and like literally when sorted see, it in seconds. In her calendar, she flicked a march. I was like, for fuck's sake, I can't want to wait for March. Yeah. Then she went back. Yeah. I'm, gl I'm glad. That's weird that they don't put all of their appointments in one place. I think maybe, maybe he's like a specialist. Like, oh, maybe, yeah. She looks for a fraction tattoo. Maybe he does yeah. other things. Yeah, true. Probably does like the big intense yeah. tattoos. We've got like a tiny one. Um, but that's exciting. So on Friday, you'll see that new tattoo. <laughs> Now back from town so this morning like i said i had um electric was like a two hour one um an introduction to my chemistry module and then we had like an hour and a half learning infrared spectroscopy um i'm gonna have another lecture on it tomorrow i think and then that's over and we're moving on to like the next technique uh, it seems okay so far like i wasn't getting too lost <laughs> so yeah that was fab and i don't have anything else for the rest of the day so i've got a few little plans going on we just booked our tattoo which i've just said and i'm so excited um you probably know if you've been watching me for a while but we tried to get them um literally for about yeah, since last year, like literally, we've been wanting to get these tattoos for absolutely ages, but the other tattoo place where we went to, where I got my nose pierced, were like rejecting us because of like where we wanted it and like something about smudging and stuff like that. And they were obviously scared that we'd like come back and complain. So that's clearly why they didn't want to do it, which is fair enough. Um, so we went to this other one, which is close to our house. And they were literally like, yep, yeah, cool, sorted, like we booked in. So we're getting that done on Friday. So you'll probably see it on my social media then. You'll probably be seeing this on Friday anyway. So that's exciting. Like you won't know beforehand. We're literally not telling anyone until it actually happens. So this will be up after we get it. So woohoo, buzzing. But yeah, I'm just about to go meet Amy, one of my friends from uni, who also does YouTube. You've probably heard me talk about her so many times. I'll leave her channel down below because you should definitely check her out. As she's in third year, so she has a little bit more experience than me. Um, and you can see like her, her perspective, uni life, in a different like way. Um, I'm just going to go meet her. We're going to go get some pasta from Pasta Go. Very naughty. Um, but we definitely need to catch up because Amy's been so busy with her dissertation stuff. And I've been busy with what I'm doing. So we've finally found a, t a chance to catch up again, which will be nice. Um, before I probably won't see her for ages because she's got so many deadlines, bless her. So yeah, we're just gonna go to Pasta Go now. I'm just gonna meet her. I need to post up a parcel for Depop. Um, and then we're gonna go get some pasta and I'll see you. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we could be true. We can be true I want you to see what I see in us Something so real Something so real Just been, um, Amy just come back to mine for a bit And we've just been chilling, having a bit of a chat And now we're off to take some pics Because we're vain bitches Insta bitches <laughs> Classic, like my whole, yesterday I was like, me and her out to take some photos so Everyone must be like, oh you're a vain bitch <laughs> We're just about to go to the gym Without trying And how will we ever see If we are meant to be It's terrifying It's terrifying So we're now back from the gym We had a nice little bum workout It was really good Thanks to Grace Fit We didn't manage to do the full thing Because we didn't have the one of the right machines, which is kind of annoying, but um, we did some other stuff instead. And now we're back. Um, I'm still feeling really stuffed from my pasta that I had earlier with Amy, so I'm not going to have dinner just yet at all. I'm just going to sit on my bed, do some work, do some planning out of my videos. I'm going to edit a video and get it up quickly. Um, so you guys can see my Primark active wear haul, like trying and testing, telling you the best 
um, pieces to buy from Primark and actually some really bad pieces that I en ended up picking up that were really bad quality so go over and check out that video so you guys can see if you can pick up a bargain if you're getting into the gym and stuff um, but I just have been thinking all day actually and then I just got the loveliest message from this girl I'm not going to name her just in case she doesn't want to be um, spoken about like personally but she's literally sent me the nicest messages message ever I was just reading it and like I teared up a little bit um, but she's said that I had inspired her from my like confidence and positivity videos to like write a post about her disability and how she's had to have surgery at a young age that mainly the elderly would have like an operation that, main, that mainly the elderly would have she wrote like a sort of like confidence and positivity sort of post on Instagram I've just read it and it made my heart warm up so much like it's so incredible when um, people like message me saying that I've given them the confidence to do something because I really didn't believe I had that power at all and I don't think I'm inspirational like I'm not a, I'm not trying to be a prick here I'm just saying like I didn't know how much like some of my little talks and um, videos would help people out so I definitely want to do some more videos on my main channel about po body positivity again because I have had some down days over the past couple of weeks with every everyone getting back into fitness like I'm doing it now because not only is it giving me a lot more energy during the day which sounds weird because obviously you're sort of using a lot of energy when you're exercising but it honestly gives me like such a rush afterwards I get so much work done afterwards and um, I feel so much better in myself because I've like done a bit of exercise during my day and yeah, I'm just feeling a lot more um, energised now I've done it. Um, I obviously do want to tone up my body a bit just because that's like a personal preference. But I'm not going to hate my body anymore like at all. Like, not that I did anyway. But I just sort of wanted to talk because this has been in my mind all day. And I thought it would be nice to share it seeing as I got that lovely message this evening. And um, I just wanted to say like we need to start. I know so many people say like your looks don't define you and things like that. And sometimes it just like blows over your head because quite a lot of people say them sort of things. But when you actually sit and think about it, it's so stupid. Like we hate our we hate our bodies for the most silly reasons. Like why why are we acting as if it's not a normal thing? It's like so normal to have things like stretch marks or bits that wobble, like bits of fat in places because there are so many like lovely foods in the world that we should be eating and just embracing and like living in the moment and stuff like, I don't know, I just think that we should always think like our bodies are keeping us alive every single day. This sounds so like intense um but like our bodies are keeping us alive every single day like I was actually thinking um if you, any of you guys saw my Instagram live with hat when I was back at hers last week um we literally did a two-hour live stream it was amazing we love talking to all of you so I definitely want to do more of those this year um but I ended up burning my finger on her like fireplace and literally within a week my skin has healed and I've just been looking at it thinking like how incredible that my body can just do that like it can repair things um when I'm like working out at the gym like tissues can repair like the protein in my body can just repair my tissue when you cut yourself like your skin just heals up like it's actually amazing what the body can do I think we just need to think about um, think about appreciating our bodies more because they don't get enough credit like we're constantly slating our bodies for all these bits and bobs that you can see on the outside just because of the stupid media like it is the media and um, even though I'm a massive fan of like social media but just like social media and the media in general are just really bad for it like and everyone's completely aware of that it's very explicit like everywhere that the media is so damaging but um we're always made to feel like we should be someone else or look like someone else when really we should just be focusing on how healthy like internally our bodies are like I've been thinking about it recently and I hope this has helped people um and hopefully together we can all become more body confident where whatever you want like I always say this like literally wear whatever the fuck you want because life is too short like if you like something fucking wear it like who cares like if someone says it you just be like their life is clearly very boring for them to be like picking up on what you're wearing and hating it like everyone's gonna like different styles so I'm just back in that good mindset where I'm like who gives a shit what anyone else thinks because I want to do things that are gonna make me happy um that are gonna benefit me not obviously in a selfish way but like, I'm gonna do things that are nice for me and make myself feel good not give a shit what anyone else thinks because I actually don't know that random guy across the street who's giving me the dirtiest look for wearing knee-high boots like I don't know that guy so why do I care what he thinks am I ever going to see him again absolutely not so why should he be able to ruin my day from a gross stare he must be so unhappy bless him anyway pep talk over I'm just going to do some editing Meg's updating the board because we're getting a tattoo <laughs> on Friday right so 
So I didn't end the vlog yesterday because I thought I didn't really do much. So I could vlog today as well. So it's Thursday, it's like quite a busy day for me today. So I'm in 10 till four. I'm gonna film as much as I can, but obviously I'm gonna be in uni most of the time. I think in between some of my lectures when I have a gap, I'm gonna go and finish off my test that's due in tomorrow. I'm ready now for a full day and hopefully I don't get too tired. I need to go get some breakfast though, otherwise I will die. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm now back from uni, I literally had a six hour day, I wasn't in for like the whole, um, I wasn't, oh my room looks really big from this angle, for some reason the yellow thing isn't going on, it might be because I've got a bit of daylight coming in, but um, yeah, I have um, had quite a full day, but there was, I did have some gaps in it, but I was doing like work in, in between and I've actually sent off my test that was due in for Friday this week. So really happy that I've got that out of the way. And then I can move on to the next thing I've got to do. Um, but today I had one hour of chemistry. We were finish up, finishing off infrared spectroscopy, which I talked about um, yesterday, actually. Yeah, so it will be in the same vlog as this. Um, so yeah, we finished off that technique. And then I had an hour of trace evidence, which was interesting. And then finally, I just had like a two hour, it was a meeting, but it was like a meeting for the forensics. And um, it was all about our overseas field trip course thing. Um, that I haven't spoken about, because I, to be honest, I didn't really know much about it, like whether I was gonna be able to go, like what sort of happening. But basically my course um, in, well, it's actually, counts in the third year but we actually complete it if we get onto the course in July August time so in this in the summer which is fab because obviously that takes away from all the pressure of another module in semester A of third year if you know what I mean so I'll have some more free time to work on like my dissertation and all my other modules that I've got going on so that's one of the re main reasons why I want to do it and um, the other huge reason why I want to do it is like the actual trips sound absolutely incredible like I, I'm, so, I'm so excited like, I've literally come back like buzzing and like Megan and Hattie are still out I literally can't wait for them to come back so I can like tell them all about it because I just get really excited about that sort of thing I was trying to ring my mum ring Aiden I just wanted to talk about it to someone else like so that they can get me excited like I was worried about money because obviously I'm not from like, like I don't have like a lot of money and I struggle with that sort of thing, but I was just thinking I'd rather go into my overdraft, buy flights, and just have an amazing experience, and I'll be able to earn that money straight back in summer within like a couple of weeks. Like honestly, why would I like be so worried about money? Because money is a social construct. <laughs> I say it in so many of my vlogs, like when I'm trying to tell myself that it's okay, but um, I think this experience is going to be amazing. Basically, we've got two choices um, of places that we could go. And obviously, there's limited spaces. So we're having to write like a little summary of why we think we should go. And we're going to have to send them in before a deadline, which is like a couple Mondays time. And I've, obviously, I'm going to get mine done this weekend. I want it to get done and gone before I get any other work put on me and all that other stress. So that's what I'm going to be working on this weekend so I'm sure I'll talk more about it but we just had like a whole two hours one hour and a half like talking about the whole two trips that we could go on and one is New York which sounds amazing like I would absolutely love to go to New York uh, it's like one of my top places that I want to go in the world just because that, it's just an amazing experience isn't it and I always see everyone else's like videos and people talking about it saying how great it is I do want to go to New York um, obviously this isn't a holiday like people probably will think this is a holiday but it's not it's like an actual module for my course like the people who don't get on this course will have to do like a just like a standard module with like lectures and stuff it is like 100% coursework this one and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a second but I don't really want to do the module that people are going to be staying and doing in, Dece in September to December time because not only is that like an extra pressure of a module on top of like dissertation and other modules it doesn't sound as appealing to me as New York or the one that I really want to go to is Guatemala which is like Central America it's not as fancy as New York but honestly I am just I just am in awe at all the amazing experiences and things that they were talking about in that like little lecture meeting thing um, basically, we'll be going to mass graves. Um, I'll t I'll tell you. I'll, I'll get my notes out because I literally noted down all the things about Guatemala because I was literally like 
I want to go so bad. So the places that we will be visiting is the GFA GFAF, which is basically a DNA and anthropology lab. So we'll be seeing people like, I think they said we're going to be seeing people like analyzing things. We're going to be able to extract DNA from bone and things like that. So some really interesting, in intricate things that I'd never be able to do if I ever went to Guatemala on my own or New York. There was actually, because I'd really got my head set on Gu Gu Guatemala. Um, and I was like, oh, I definitely don't want to go to New York. I'd rather go there where I can do what I want with my family, and with my family or boyfriend or something, which I obviously want to do in the future. But after speak them speaking about New York, they were saying that we get to do so many things that the, ge the general public can't do because of obviously connections they have and stuff. So obviously that trip's really appealing. And I, if I had to, like, if there were, the Guatemala trip got completely taken up, then I'd possibly go to New York, but I'm just really set on Guatemala now because we get to do that extraction of DNA from bone. And um, we also get to go to like this beautiful lake and have a look at like landslide disasters or there's a volcano they were talking about that we get to go see. So I really, really want to go there. Um, there's also genocide massacre sites, which again, can be quite intense for some people so like mass graves and things and we'll be witnessing things ourselves and like getting involved with things um 20 percent of the um module is actually like engagement with these activities abroad so like getting involved with things like get, doing the techniques like that we need to and things like that i'm not 100 percent sure because did, they didn't go into like proper detail um as obviously like not everyone's going to be going on these trips they didn't go into the, the proper depths they did like a little overview We'd also be going to the Mayan ruins. Obviously, so, so beautiful. Like, this is like, they said this is the only thing that's not um, related to forensics, but it's just beautiful. And we'll go into like the Tikal Tikal National Park. I think it's pronounced Tikal. Tikal? Tikal? And then we'll also be going to the historical police archive where like all the profiles have been made of all the bodies. Um, although they said that they'll, there's danger, like not danger, but they gave us a few little warnings about um, Guatemala because we'll obviously have to have like vaccinations and take malaria tablets. And there might be like sites that you're not familiar seeing. It might make you sad and distressed. Um, like a lot, there's a, quite a few like things just as warnings and that it's going to be like a very physically demanding trip like we're going to be travelling like miles and miles like apparently one of the like we're going to actually in Guatemala going to be moving I'm saying we as if I'm actually going like I wish <laughs> um, we'd be moving from um, like hotel to hotel it's apparently it's very physically demanding like we're getting up at like five o'clock most days and um traveling like across the whole country like we're traveling across the whole country it's like more of a road trip and like staying in hotels it's like a 10 or 11 day field trip sort of field road trip sort of thing seeing all the different things and um getting involved with all the forensics about it 40 percent of my coursework for that would be a journal and um, like documenting like reflecting on the experience and analyzing all the bits and pieces and thoughts from the from each of the um activities we get up to um tw another 20 percent is a poster presentation which we'd be doing in december so a little bit further away and then the other 20 percent is a research essay that we have to submit before the actual um trip so it's all coursework based which again is really good because that takes the stress away from my exams and it's all split up quite nicely and then new york is new york is great but like it's you're based in like one place and um, they're going to the it's quite a, a bit of it's focused on the 9 11 stuff like going to the museum and things like the general public can do but there's also things that are um very specific to forensics that not the, the, pub, the general public don't have access to and things so i think like one of them you can actually go into a forensics lab which apparently you can't do in the uk so lots of great things from these field trips and i've it's literally got me so excited like the only thing i'd have to be paying for is flights and something that's really scary is that they just want you to get there like then they've just told us dates and that we have to book our own flights book transport to the hotels and stuff which is quite terrifying when you're like traveling over 10 12 hours away but hopefully if I got on the course with my friends, then we'd be able to like or arrange flights together. I just think it's an opportunity that I can't really miss at this point, And it's something that I'd love to do. Um, I'd love to go to New York as well. But as I said, like I'd, I kind of want to go on holiday there rather than as like a uni module course thing. I feel like I'd feel like I was wasting my money there. Whereas I just feel like Guatemala is such an experience. Like I'm never going to like 
make my way there again if you know what I mean like on like as a holiday <laughs> or anything I just want to go there and experience like proper forensic anthropology that's what I'm going for and fingers crossed I get it like I really hope so only 15 spaces are available for both the New York trip and then 15 for the Guatemala trip so I really want to get on it <laughs> I'd love to do it and obviously I'd vlog it like I'd video my whole experience there which would be so sick like to give you an insight into what I've been doing and stuff yeah I'd really love to do that um so I just thought I'd let that excitement out because no one else is answering me at the minute. I also have got this book, it's just come in the post. I ordered it on Amazon a few days ago. But basically my human identification module that I'm starting this semester is 100% coursework, which is so new to me. I absolutely love that because it just is one less exam in the summer. Um, but basically this is the human bone manual and apparently this is like my ho holy bible for this course essentially. So... um. I'm very excited to have a read of this. I actually am really interested in like the anthropology and like the body, that side of things. Um, it's something that I'm starting to like steer towards like a lot. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to re give this a read and I'm sure it will help me a lot. Apparently we need to bring this to all of our practical sessions as it will really, really help our learning and understanding of things. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I've purchased a book. It's the second book I've ever purchased, like actually bought for myself for my course, just to give you a bit of an insight if you're not at uni and you don't know if you're going to have to buy books and stuff. Most of the time the library, the library will have them, but sometimes they don't have enough copies at all. Like, I mean, Hattie and Megan have like 300 people on their for, um, psychology course and there was only like three or four books in the library that were available. So that's so bad, but I prefer a hard copy than an e-copy. Um, so that's why I decided to buy that and it will be useful to take them into practicals. So yeah, they literally essentially said you kind of need to buy this. Otherwise you probably won't pass the course. So I was like, ah, need to purchase that. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the news so far. What else? Yeah, that's, that's literally about it. I have another business call. I hate saying that because I feel like it's so extra when it's just me. I'm just normal. Like a, a girl commented on my video the other day saying she walked past me with her boyfriend and she was too nervous to say hi. And obviously I get that people can be shy and like don't like 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 being the first to speak because I'm the same. But I'm just like, oh, it's just me. I'm just so average, like a little boring, <laughs> a little boring basic bitch that just uploads videos to YouTube. So yeah, if you ever see me, come say hi. We can have a chat. I literally treat you all like my friends because you basically are. You literally support me and um, make me feel like I'm doing okay. If you ever see me around uni, please say hi. <laughs> I don't bite. I'm in a good mood, as you can probably tell. Like, I just, I bet I won't get on this trip now. I always do this. I like build myself up I get so excited and then something happens and I can't go on the trip so yeah I'm gonna touch some wood and hope that I can do that and fingers crossed my mum rings soon because I want to tell her so bad and um, but yeah rest of the evening all I've got planned is to upload a blog post and uh, well, finish off writing it upload it write my blog po write a blog post um well finish writing the blog post that I have for the uni's blogs for tomorrow because that's the deadline I'm a bit late this time and um, just because I've had um, other bits and bobs going on with my own blog and YouTube I have a few other things that I need to do Oh, I'm going to plan out um, my whole weekend and how I'm going to schedule all my work over the weekend just that I'm on it and keep up to date with everything. I have been set a piece of coursework that's due in at the end of March, which is actually quite a long time for once for us to do a research, like a case study um, and research about it. It's literally can be any case study as long as it involves trace evidence. So I don't know what I'm going to go for yet. I'm kind of thinking something along the lines of diatoms because I did um, like a piece of coursework in first year about diatoms and I found them really interesting. It's basically like a little algae, like fungal algae thing um, that's in the water and it can help like detect whether a person had been drowned or like been killed and then thrown into water, if you know what I mean. So I'm thinking I might go along the lines of that or there's like loads of cases to do with like hair fibers glass so I just need to have a little bit of a research so I'm going to start doing that this week and I think um let me know what you want to see on my channels um anything you want me to do I'm going to have a video called student student housing versus student halls going on my main channel soon so I'm like comparing the good and the bad from both living in a house and living in halls I also want to do like a lectures versus seminars one like giving you the proper lowdown on um what lectures are like, what they are, because for beginners, like people who are not at uni, you will have no idea, because I literally was like, what the hell is everything? I don't know what it means. <laughs> so I'm going to do like a proper like lectures versus seminar thing. I've got like a lot, a lot of things planned. And I also want to get back into like my scrapbooking and stuff in the evenings to like make me chill out and um, have a bit of 
non-screen time <laughs> like because I'm constantly like editing or doing stuff for uni on my laptop or going on my phone so I want to do something that doesn't involve that. I have been reading, to be fair, in the Froze book, The New Fashion Rules, and honestly, it's amazing. Absolutely love that woman. Um, she's so inspirational, and yeah, I can't wait to finish that book, and then I'll give you a proper review. But for now, I'm just going to sit on my bed and work, and then have my little call. And maybe after the call, I'll be able to announce something. Who knows? Oh, we might as well use that. <laughs> Me and Meg have decided to go on a spontaneous night, or kind of spontaneous night out. We're gonna go to Love Doe because it's back. I'm sure it went for a while, didn't it? Didn't yeah. it? Yeah, or move, I don't really know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to Love Doe tonight in our fave, well, like one of our fave places in Lincoln. What? Yeah. Maybe you should get the shot glass out and like use that as like a, as a measure, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just getting out all of our drinks ready. <laughs> We just bought these, which were our childhood favourites, weren't yeah. they? Tangy Toms, they always used to have them at school discos. And they're no, literally just little cheese balls, aren't they? But tomato flavoured and they sound horrible, don't they? But they're so lush. Like, we literally eat them all the time. Like, I'd buy so many at school discos and just get fucking, fucking hyper on them. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, running around at school discos. But yeah, we're just going to get ready and then take on the night. And hopefully don't get blood poisoning before we get our tattoo tomorrow. Someone will comment like, you're not supposed to drink alcohol 12 hours before a tattoo or something. So I'm going to try this out. I'm really excited about it. I don't think I've tried this one specifically, but look at this. Oh, listen to this. What? <laughs> Having a drink or two just before getting a tattoo will not likely thin your blood out enough to become a problem. Drinking heavily the night before, on the other hand, could cause a problem. <laughs> It's fine. Drinking before and after getting a tattoo is a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just, it'll be fine. They didn't tell us anything, so. No. There's a tiny tattoo. Like, if we were getting shading and, like, this in I intricate design. I reckon it means, design, like, getting drunk and getting a tattoo. People have tattoos while they're drunk. Yeah, they're and right? they're fine. <laughs> yeah, and to be fair, if you were... <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I feel like it's if you were, yeah, getting a big tattoo where you're bleeding out. So that penguin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We should put some in. My I'm going to put some in my new gin glass. Yay. Oh, look. Tattoo's been added to the board. Who's excited about that one? Oop. Me. It's going to go off tomorrow, though. Look how cute my gin glass is. My mum got it in a set for me for Christmas. Cute. <laughs> this is a cute decor. <laughs> We're ready. And we just get drunk. I need a witty cut. That's my New Year's resolution. So we're out and about uh, Free in freezing temperatures. In, in cold temperatures. We're just about to go trebles. Lol. Um, so we're now in trebles. My eye makeup's fucked up because my left eye's crying. Yes. Feeling a little bit. A little bit. A little bit too I think we should give a shout out to our parents. Yeah. They're gonna watch this. It's gonna be funny. Parents. Hey Jenny. Hi Sally. Hi, hey Jenny. Jenny. I know you're watching this, and I know you're thinking ta ta ta. You should be clicking this and. Like button down below. So make sure you like <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and comment that you love us. If yeah, you really love us. We're going to Love Doe next. Yeah, I'm really excited because Love Doe was so sick at Freshers. So I'm busy, and it's only back for a few weeks. Yeah, and I've got my contact lenses. I've got a treble vodka fruit twist, Fanta fruit twist, and I've got triple vodka Fanta lemon. And I'm wearing my new Boyfriends. You do, you do. Oh, 
down uh, tune. Hanging on the wall. I will leave you alone, girls. No, no room for you. Why not? <laughs> Meg's just teasing you. We're gonna share together. Yes. It's fine. <laughs> 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 